Good evening. 
And to the people and community of Clearfield, thank you. From this part of the field looking up, we almost have a full set of home side bleachers. This is absolutely amazing. So on behalf of our graduates, thank you. Tonight, it is my honor and privilege on behalf of our board of directors to welcome you to this evening's graduation ceremonies for the class of 2022. After two plus years of facing challenges when we could or could not be together, we recognize and cherish the opportunity to be here tonight. These soon to be Bison alumni had their sophomore year cut short their junior year, a mix of every other day, and then finally in their senior year, we got close to being back to whatever is now normal. So for you to be here tonight to help celebrate, we thank you for that. It's an important time in the lives of these young adults, and before we start to recognize them, it is important to recognize the many people who have helped to get them to this moment in time. Thanks to the teachers and all of the school staff who have put the children first. Somewhere through the child's journey, there has been a favorite teacher, a favorite lunch lady, a custodian, a school nurse, maybe an aide, but somebody who took that extra care and compassion to help them get to this point in time. And on behalf of our graduates, we thank you. Special thanks to the family members for all of the love, encouragement, and support you have provided along the way. Life is not always easy, and what that looks like from one family to another may be different, but with your child sitting here tonight, it means someone cared for them, someone took the time, and someone made the effort. And for that, we say thank you to you as well. Now, to the graduates, I want to say a special thank you to you guys tonight. Because within this school year, the vast majority of our sports teams competed for District 9 titles, some continuing into the state playoffs. Individuals graduating here tonight have represented us at the state events in cross country, swimming, and wrestling. And best wishes to our Lady Bison softball Monday night against Franklin. You took to the stage providing concerts and live theater again. Many were selected for county, district, and regional concerts based on your talents and auditions. One of our graduates this evening even was selected for two years in a row to be in our state choir. Congratulations. We have graduates among us tonight that excelled on your noctis at the CTC, have been accepted into your union halls and will start employment. We have others that have completed their associates program and have earned multiple college credits while graduating high school. And then we have others who are going to step forward after tonight and join the military and serve our country and all of us gathered here. And for you, we say a special thanks as well. All of those examples to say this about you guys. You have worked tremendously hard to be here. Whether it was an A-B world and happened to learn how to do teams on the days that you weren't here, how you had to independently try to figure out work, for some of you, lifting starts at 6 or 6.30 in the morning. Swimming starts at 6. Jazz band at 6.30. We have more kids here on campus some mornings than some schools have kids. And that's a dedication to the work that you guys put into it. We have others that picked up jobs and kept our economy going and go after school immediately to work and on the weekends. We thank you. It's a tremendous amount of work, and yet here you sit today as graduates with doing all of that on top. So we thank you, it wasn't easy. And to all the parents and family gathered, if we could take one more moment to do a round of applause for the students, to thank them as a group for their hard work. (laughs) 
While the past few years have definitely been unique, the ideas of challenges and difficult times is not new. Tonight represents the 146th commencement exercises for a Clearfield High School. If that number's correct, we go back to about 1876, recognizing graduates from Clearfield. During that time, there have been wars, depressions, economic recessions, and now two major global pandemics. So it's not new, it's just new to us. Somewhere during those 146 years, somebody took the letters from Clearfield High School and said C should represent courtesy, H should represent honor, and S should represent service. So we simply ask this as you move forward from Clearfield High School. Be courteous to one another, honor every man, woman, and child for who they are, and provide service to one another. It really is that simple of a formula to maintain a great community and a world to live in. Again, best wishes to our graduates, and without further ado, congratulations. At this time, I would like to recognize the special accomplishments of the members of the class of 2022. We are honored to have a select group of students who have enlisted to serve our country in one of the branches of the armed forces. Would those students who have volunteered to serve the United States of America in one of the military branches please stand and be recognized at this time. Please be seated. Please be seated. At Clearfield Area Junior Senior High School, we have a unique program called dual enrollment, where our students earn college credit while still in high school. This program is a wonderful opportunity for our parents and students to help offset the high costs of post-secondary education and has assisted us in raising our academic standards. This year, we have one student who has already earned her associate's degree from Mount Aloysius College. Would Kira Pelton please stand and be recognized at this time? There are many students in the class of 2022 who were enrolled in dual enrollment courses. On average, each student participated in a dual enrollment program will be graduating with one semester of college completed. Would the students who participated in the dual enrollment pro program please stand and be recognized at this time? Please be seated. As you can see from the items that adorn their gowns and the previously mentioned accomplishments, this class is academically gifted. On the athletic fields, the senior class has been outstanding. Many of the students in this senior class will be going on to further their athletic talents at the collegiate level. At this time, I would like all students who have earned a post-secondary academic or athletic scholarship, please stand and be recognized at this time. Please be seated. Congratulations, class of 2022, on your momentous accomplishments. Good evening. It is my great honor to introduce to you the class of 2022 salutatorian, Riley Renee Veo. Hello everyone and welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2022. I would like to begin by saying thank you. 
Just two simple words that have so much meaning. From the very beginning, we are taught to say please, thank you, and you're welcome to everything. I would whine every time my mom would not do something unless I used my manners, and I would think, how can these little words mean so much? Since I am much older now, I know how these little words can mean the world when used correctly. So thank you to every single teacher that I have had since my first day freshman year. Thank you to the music department for teaching me not only music, but valuable life lessons. Thank you to the swim team for your friendship through the easy and the tough practices. Thank you to my parents who always made sure my homework was done and always got me to early morning practices and home from late night games and meets. Thank you to every single person in this class. Whether you are a good friend, a friend that I've lost touch with throughout the years, or just someone to smile to in the hallway, you all have a part in my success. Lastly, thank you to Luke Sidoric for pushing me these last two years. You may or may not have known that you were, but it was mainly because I was trying to be better than you in every single class we had together. I could not have achieved the role of salutatorian without any of you. And in fact, we all could not have gotten to this point without each other. Whether it was the friendships, the relationships, or even the ones that helped you with your homework, we all relied on each other throughout these four years, and we should all thank those who are especially important to us. This class has gone through a lot together. Back in fourth grade, just a section of us wandered through the halls of the elementary school while it was going through renovations to welcome more of the class from Bradford, Goshen, Center, and together we were the guinea pigs of the new fifth grade in the elementary school. We entered Clearfield High School for the very first time and stressed about remembering where our classes were and how to open our lockers. Freshman year came with high school sports, swim class, and the Romeo and Juliet unit in English. We started sophomore year strong with chemistry and driver's ed, but the dreaded Friday the 13th came in March of 2020. This day led to no school, no prom, no field trip, and no friends. Last year, we could only see half the class at a time with the A and B day schedule. To be honest, when I walked into school the first day this past September to start senior year, I had a hard time recognizing a lot of you. There were no pep rallies, only a handful of sports, and a lot of masks, quarantines, and shutdowns. As this past summer progressed, we were anxious of what the following year would entail. Despite these challenges, we had a great year. We had sports, a homecoming dance, a prom, and a class trip. Best of all, there were no shutdowns and not a single virtual Teams meeting for classes. We even got to relive all these memories as we walked through the halls yesterday morning. That finally brings us to this moment in time where, in just a few short minutes, we will get to watch each other walk across that field to receive our diplomas. But then what? We are going to go in 163 different directions after we leave tonight. The inevitable will happen where we will lose touch and it won't be until we are blowing the dust off of our old yearbooks that have just been sitting in a box when the memories of our time at Clearfield come flooding back in. Even though we are heading in all of these different directions, there will always be someone who we will never forget from this place. And because of this, we will never be alone. Just as we have stuck together through these years leading up to this point, we will stick together through the thick and thin and enter the next journey in our lives together, just as we entered the latest one. Whatever the next journey in your life entails, remember your time here at Clearfield. The good and the bad made you into the person who you are today. And those times will shape all of your future decisions in life. With that, I wish each of you good luck on those journeys and decisions you face. And who knows, maybe our journeys will cross paths and we will reminisce those memories again someday. For the very last time, thank you, everyone. It is now my honor to introduce the valedictorian of the Clearfield Area Junior Senior High School graduating class of 2022, Luke Nicholas Sidoric. Thank you, Mr. Brickley. And good evening, everyone, and thank you to everyone who could make it out tonight. As a class, I would like to thank Mr. Struble. Mrs. Prestash, both our vice principals, Mr. Brickley and Mr. Scaife. 
the entire school board and administration, as well as our teachers and aides, and especially our great cafeteria workers and custodians who do such a great job at keeping our school a clean environment. I would like to personally thank my parents for always supporting me and guiding me to this point at which I have gotten to today. As to everyone who I have invited here, you have all helped me in one way or another to become the person I am. Lastly, I am a big believer in God, and through him I believe all things are possible, and I thank him for blessing me with all the gifts that I have received. Over the last two years, life has been anything but normal. After missing the fourth quarter of our sophomore year, going every other day our junior year, and this year going back and forth wearing masks, we finally have had a pretty normal last couple months of our senior year. As students, we've been blessed with an opportunity to go into a new chapter, new chapter of our lives in this new world with a fresh start. Maybe high school just wasn't for you, and for many of us through this pandemic, it just wasn't. But now I'm encouraging all of you to look at this next step of your life in a new perspective. Whether or not you are going to college, the workforce, the military, or to go play at a Division I football program, we all have this tremendous opportunity. As said by millions of people, but none better and more passionately than the tremendous actor Robin Williams in the movie The Dead Poet Society, carpe diem, or in other words, seize the day. Do not just live every day as you would normally. Take every opportunity you get. Make the most out of every day and live life to its fullest. That is my wish for you all. Certainly, it is hard to perceive the idea that we are now all adults. Every choice from now on will affect our lives in a positive or in a negative way. The actions you take will define you as a person. Every word you speak, every move you make will be judged and looked upon. And if I do not say happy birthday to my sister, whose birthday it was yesterday, she will judge me very harshly. So happy birthday, Zoe. <laughs> anyway, to get back to my point, make it in your best interest to be the person you know you can be. Seize the day. Many times I've heard people say, it is okay to not be okay. And while in life, many times we may not be okay, make the effort to make yourself a better person. Seize the day. Do not be satisfied with where you end up in life. I hope you always strive to be better. A quote that I saw once many years ago and that I live by has, and has gotten me to where I am today sums this up perfectly. It goes, make your goals so big that when you tell someone them, they laugh in your face. I hope that one day we are all able to accomplish those goals we set. To wrap things up, I know that we are all fully capable of doing anything we set our minds to and I wish all my classmates the best of luck in all that they choose to do in their lives. As the Clearfield class of 2022, we have been through a lot, but we are just getting started. Thank you. It is now my honor to introduce the class presidents of the senior and junior class for the passing of the mantle. Senior class president, Olivia Bender, and junior class president, Mason Marshall. Good evening. I am Olivia Bender, the 2022 Senior Class President. I would like to first thank all of you for coming to support and watch this special moment in our lives, a moment we have all waited for and dedicated years of hard work to achieve. All of us sitting here have been through so much together in these last four years, and it is finally coming to an end sooner than expected. We have all taken that time to mature, grow, and find ourselves, some quicker than others. Coming into high school, our biggest worry was if we would have classes with our friends or who we would sit with in the cafeteria. Now, we are faced with some much larger decisions and worries. But just like before, we must take those situations one step at a time. Our class has not had the most normal high school experience going through the pandemic, but we all made the best of it. Times like that, when we were the furthest apart, brought us closer together. 
we were adaptive, positive, and resilient. Even though it was inconvenient, it taught us life lessons that overall bettered us. It taught us to appreciate the time we were given and to take advantage of the opportunities. Our class has accomplished so many great things in and outside of the classroom. I would like to take a minute to recognize some of those achievements. To start, this year has one of the largest groups of students that have earned summa cum laude academic status. That alone shows our academic excellence and the high standards our class holds. If we look back on the last four years, our athletic programs have excelled. In our time, we have won multiple district titles, individual awards, had undefeated seasons, had state place winners, and made runs in the state playoffs in multiple sports. Even in seasons where teams struggled, they continued to work hard and better themselves for the future. Not only do we excel in academics and sports, but we have an amazing music and arts program. We have had multiple students go to district choir and band and even go on further for their talents. Our class has also been very active in the school plays and musicals every year. They put so much time and dedication into these performances and it does not go unnoticed. Aside from our long list of achievements in high school, this class is expecting even better things after. For some of us, that success looks like a college degree, jumping into the workforce, or maybe joining the military to serve our country. Walking in our halls, we can see the different paths we have all chosen. It is incredible to see the wide variety of colleges we will all be attending. That is what is great about our class. We have so much diversity in what our futures will look like, and no matter what we choose, all of us have the potential to succeed. Our class is extremely well-rounded and stands out in just about every aspect. CHS does not just stand for Clearfoot High School, but it has a deeper meaning for us. It stands for courtesy, honor, and service. These three ideals have been upheld by not just our class, but throughout time at Clearfield. Our students, staff, and community members all demonstrate these qualities. As our class leaves, we expect the future classes to sustain these standards and reputation. I'm not worried about that, though, because here today is Mason Marshall, the junior class president. He is here on behalf of his class to accept the mantle to assure that these three characteristics will continue to be demonstrated and passed down further. The transferring of the mantle that I'm wearing tonight is a tradition our school has always had. It is a physical representation of these standards. By passing it on to Mason and the junior class, I'm also passing on the level of excellence our school has. This class will become the example and role models for the underclassmen. To my class, even though we are leaving, I hope each of you continue to practice courtesy, honor, and service throughout your life, wherever it takes you. Finally, I would like to thank all the people that have helped us get here and supported us. Our parents, the staff, the community, and lastly, my class for making these last four years exceptional. Today is the day, the day that the class of 2022 becomes the future of our country, the day that your childhood ends and your adulthood is coming to a start. As this chapter of your life ends, a new is about to begin. Graduating from high school can be a daunting experience, but this group of young adults has shown some of the highest levels of courtesy, honor, and service that our school has ever seen. The mantle that I have received visualizes the acronym of CHS. First, we have the letter C. The C means courtesy. The class of 2022 exerts some of the highest amounts of courtesy that I have ever seen. We have people graduating this year from all walks of life and they have been very courteous to their class and their school. We have some of the best role models and people that everyone in the school looks up to. The next letter is H. The H stands for honor. This class is one of the classes that have the most honor for their school and their teachers. They have worked very hard to honor their school in academics, athletics, and their musical talents. And finally, the letter S. The S stands for service. The class of 2022 has had many members serve their school and community in some way this year. Many were a part of Key Club or volunteering or have just been a great service to the younger students. The class of 2022 was never afraid to lend a helping hand to anyone who needed it. This is a class of students that I will always look up to. Next, I would like to honor the class of 2022. You are moving on to a chapter of a journey that will be filled with excitement and joy. 
This is the group that will become the future of a nation. You will become the next group of successful workers, whether that be after college or going straight into the workforce. One thing that I have learned from the class of 2022 is to persevere. They have been put through many challenges through their high school career, but they have stayed positive through it all and encouraged the younger classes to do the same. This is a class that I am very excited to say will be the future of our country. As I wrap this speech up, it is time to make it about the class of 2023. We are the class that will be trying to fill the huge shoes and impact that this class has made before us. As the president of the class of 2023, I pledge that my class and I will carry on this legacy and uphold the qualities that you have left for us. The school will never be the same once this class leaves. The legacy you left for us is one that will be hard to top, as were the ones of the classes before you. I would finally like to congratulate you all on a job well done and wish you luck on the new chapter that you are beginning. Thank you. It is my pleasure to extend a heartfelt and well-deserved congratulations to the class of 2022. I would also like to congratulate those parents, family members, and friends that have stood beside these graduates, guiding them to this moment today. Today marks an end of a chapter in your life. As you gather here this evening as a class of 2022, watching and listening as your high school years come to an end, Please take the time to be in the moment and reflect on all you've accomplished individually and together as a class. Tonight's graduation closes the chapter as a student from the halls of Clearfield and begins a new chapter in your adult lives without high school. As you close this chapter in your life, take with you your own cherished memories. Remember your friends. Remember those people who have influenced you who have helped you, and most of all, remembers the good times together as a class of 2022. Class of 2022, you have done everything we have required of you. At a time of great uncertainty in our country, you have persevered. You represented yourselves, your families, and Clearfield Area Junior High School with honor, dignity, character, and integrity. May you be blessed with great health, lots of happiness, and tremendous success. And please remember, you are always welcome here in the halls of Clearfield. Before I present you as a class this evening, I would like to share with you one piece of advice. As I scanned the news on my phone, an article caught my eye. The title was, Steph Curry says the best advice he ever got was from his mom when he was 13 years old. Steph's team had just lost, and he, won even, he played even worse and he just felt like he wasn't good enough. When his mom said, no one gets to write your story but you. Not some scouts, not some tournament, not the other kids who might be better at this or better at that than you. None of those people and none of those things get to be the author of your story, just you. So think real hard about it. Take your time and then go out and write what you want to write. But just know that this story, it's yours. Board member Miss Wood, 163 members of the Clearfield Area Junior Senior High School Class of 2022 have completed requirements for the awarding of their diplomas. As set forth by the Clearfield Area Board of School Directors and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It is therefore with the greatest pleasure that I have the honor to present to you for the presentation of their diplomas, the 146th graduating class of Clearfield Area Junior Senior High School, the class of 2022.
Luke Nicholas Sidoric. Riley Renee Veo. Olivia Grace Bender. Nathan Joseph Natoli. Brock Mitchell Peacock. Nicholas Brian Collins. Oliver Lewis Billet. Congratulations, Carson. Congrats. Carson Michael Klein. Hayden Douglas Kavalik. Good timing, Barr. Good timing. Nolan Andrew Barr. Mallory Lynn McBride. Jade Nevada Welker. Elizabeth May Ryan. Hannah Joe Salvatore Trinidad. Mark Lee McGonigal. Christopher John Gregory. Jordan Elizabeth McCracken. Jaden Edith Strathen. Blake Anthony Prestash. Kyle Anthony Alinsky. Audriel Lucille Goodrow. Albany May Clark. Madison Rose Wanamaker. Kayla Diane Reed. Macy Ray Louder. Lauren Marie Kitchen. Lydia Grace Brown. Emma Elizabeth Hips. Kylie Leanne Hurtland. Xander James Wallace. Adam. Christopher Miller. David Nelson Graham III. Tyler Edward Olson. Martin Andrew Daub. KB Ann Louise Boris. Jacob Donald Franz. Colson Lee Davis. Kinzer Duane Mayhew. Gage Aaron Odrowski. 
Hope Marie Lazier. Reagan Renee Rupp. Isaac Blair Way. Curtis James Thompson. Caden Nicholas Caldwell. Chloe Shaylin Fluger. Aaron Michael Bowery. Mia Sarah Beth Fleming. Justin Delaney Crutchfield. Caleb Schuyler Wilt. Kiera Denae Shaw. Sierra Elise Ball. Grace Ryan McCracken. Paige Cameron McCauley. Joshua Greg Steele, Jr. Eric Morgan Fletcher. Isaac Michael Thompson. Maxwell Christopher Paul Cook. I got this. Jose Javier Alban. Caden Allen Irwin. Alyssa Marie McCracken. Cameron Alexander Artery. Taylor Nicole Krupalak. Jaylin Justice McCoy. Haley Amanda Wallace. Caden Andrew Stiles. Cody Michael Kyler. Wyatt Hines Becker. Damon Matthew Edwin Haney Woodling. Carson Lyle Dixon. Alyssa Dawn Carlin. Abigail Mackenzie Larson. Alexis Storm Bombarger. Abigail Rose Goodrow. Lila Raylin Haight. Brian Patrick Ackmoody. Alex Timothy Lansbury. Alex 
Paul Leskovansky. Gabriel Thomas Love. Zachary Scott Jenkins. Savannah Morgan Black. Alexis Nicole Seiler. Kiera Dawn Plubel. Skylin Jane Teets. David Scott Sims. Thomas James Sipe. Emily Madison Dobbs. Cheyenne Marie Foringer. Jaden Iverson Rao. James Douglas Robison. Nicholas Jason Unch. Dalton Elwood Luzier. Justin Joseph Fletcher. Nathan Fisher Hand. Scarlet Lane Hope LeBeau. Diamond Marie Fulmer. Cheyenne Marie Graham. Serenity Michelle Uplinger. Chloe Bell Odrosky. Isaac Benjamin Owens. Benjamin Matthew Lehau. McKinley Olivia Jean Ockenbaugh. Leona Marie Doran. Samuel Eli Muir. Hunter Bauer Klein. Axel David. Cummings, <laughs> Trey, 
Trenton Matthew Green. Maddox John Amy. Wyatt Michael Riorda. Dakota Leon Knapp. Serena Zhu. Christopher James Blowers. Anna Jade Rolls. Emma Lynn Powell. Megan Nicole Rolls. Mackenzie Ann Potter. Emmeline K. Lee Groth. Scott Abram Clark. Zachary Michael Carfley. Dalton Reese Hummel. Cassandra Marie Hips. Macy Alexandra Green. Erica Bell Ritterson. Joseph Walter Robertson. Alexis Marie Cole. Emma Jane Dobbs. Riley Storm Lewis. Abigail Marie Turner. Alexis Josephine Benton. Lauren Margaret Ressler. Ian Lee Patterson. Jasmine Marie Dixon. Marissa Ann Nieper. Alexis Marie Witherow. Toxie Owen Hayes Corb. Alexander Blake Schrock. Lindy Savannah Maines. Noah James Robbins.
Wyatt Owen McDillon Corb. Javen Joseph De Felice. William Welty Brickley. Kira Ray Pelton. Tori Lynn Jackson. John Ellsworth Poole, Jr. Desiree Dawn Poole. Allison Paige Shipley. Jerry Lee Mallon. Caleb Leonard Geyer. Nevin Keith Royer. Eric Robert Conaway. Gabrielle Heaven Smay. Michael Anthony Fester. Shane Michael Kudry. Ryan Derek Gearhart. Luke Thomas Freeland. Ty Nicholas Troxel. Jesse Thomas Lamadou. Haley Nicole Gardner. Graduates, please rise. At this time, you're considered graduates of Clearfoot High School. Please turn your tassels.
It's been a joy to watch all of you grow these past four years. But now your next chapter awaits, and we're excited to see where it leads you. On behalf of the Clearfield Area School District, I would like to congratulate the parents and families of our graduates and bid the class of 22 farewell. This concludes our graduation ceremony. Thank you and good night. So like there's like a big